Hello there, welcome to another quick iPad tutorial. In this clip we will be looking at an accessibility feature known as Guided Access. Guided Access is um, available in iOS 6 and iOS 7 and it is a feature which allows or provides restricted access to an app or a website if you're browsing on a web browser. Um, this is particularly useful in education for students who might have a tendency to te uh, click their home button or click various settings or functions within an app or constantly try to get out of an app and go into another app. So if you want a student just to remain in the activity that you have given them, then you can um, activate guided access. First we need to do this, we go into settings and under general we'll click on accessibility and we will scroll up and under the learning tab we have guided access by default it's on if it's off then we can just toggle it on uh, we need to set our passcode in order to activate and deactivate uh, guided access we'll keep our accessibility shortcut on that means we can use our triple click uh, in order to activate it when we're within an app. So let's just go to an app now, and I have a couple open here. I'm just going to open up uh, ProLoquo then, restrict that. And so if you've turned this on before you hand the device to the student and you want them to remain in ProLoquo, you would triple click your home button. And you have to enter your passcode for guided access. Terrific. Then we get this screen which provides uh, options. Uh, you can circle different parts of the screen that you don't want the student to have access to. So I want them to remain on this grid. So I'm going to circle the home button. I'm going to circle our choices on the bottom menu and to restrict them within the grid. Remember this can be done in any app or website. So now they're grayed out and I can touch resume. And so the student now is not able to use those buttons at the bottom. Nothing will happen when they tap them um, and they remain in their home screen and forced to I want to work within that screen. If they hit the home button, then there'll be a message at the top, but even if they triple click, they won't be able to exit out of guided access because they don't have the code. Uh, once um, you uh, want to exit guided access, then you can triple click, enter the code, and press end. Next time uh, you use this app then the restrictions when you enable guided access will be the same unless you press the X and take them off. Okay? But it's actually handy to keep those remaining on when you use an app quite often so that it's always set when the student's ready to use it. I press end and guided access has ended. Hope you enjoy this uh, quick iPad tutorial and visit us for more tutorials.